Welcome to Tuesday, guys. We are back from all the precariousness yesterday and so settled back into our normal routine. And I made dinner, per usual. And tonight we had cilantro lime chicken thighs. This is what they looked like. This is kind of the last one left and they were, how, how do you think they were? They were really good and I really they liked them delicious. a lot. I really, really liked them so a lot. Good. Don't do that. <laughs> anyway, they're really good. I just served them with plain white rice because they were super strong. I didn't quite follow the recipe, but we will link it down below. Essentially what I did differently was I just didn't use a wine and instead I put grape juice in with a little bit of white wine vinegar and lemon juice. But they were very good. I, I also didn't, I didn't quite cook, cook it the way it said to, but you know what? It's fine. I used the basic principle and seasoning, so, and they were delicious. And I yeah. highly, highly recommend them. Everyone loved them. Now you're on the same level yeah. as me. Get on my level. I did really like them a lot. I'm on your level, but I'm sideways. Okay, then straight down. There you go. <laughs> this is how much he has to bend his knees <laughs> in order to be on my level. <laughs> so, I'm about to go back and work on stuff, because we're... Wait, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like three days in counting before I need to officially have everything up on my switch Because it needs to call up Thursday night, so it can be start released on Friday. Yeah. So we're we're only a few days away, and I got a lot of stuff to do, which will be fun. I also this morning when I woke up, the hot water in the apartment didn't work, so no hot water equals bad time. In fact, it was so not hot water that it was ice cold water in its place. Like when you turn it, it was actually like normal coldness, like all the other settings, and then when you turn it all the way to the hot setting, it literally came out as if it were ice and it was pretty freaking awful. I needless to say, I didn't use it. I'm not sure if it shows or not. If it, if it... No, you look lovely. Okay, well, anyway. I hopefully, I, I like talked to my land landlord and she said that it was probably just the building having issues and not the apartment itself, so the building should be taking care of it. So hopefully that's taken care of when I get back to the apartment. At least for tomorrow morning, because if not, then I'm about to come over here and use the shower here. Which I guess it works fine, but I'd much rather... be annoying you have to bring all your stuff over or use mine. Yeah, I also need to use the hot water yeah. to clean some dishes. Let's hope that's fixed when I get back, but I'm about to have a long night of stuff. I'm trying to edit Wind Waker so that the first episode can go up on Friday. And every subsequent episode can go up after that. I really like it. I did edit the first episode yesterday, and it looks really good, in my opinion. It turned out really well. I'm happy with it. I started listening to Life Changing magic of tidying up which i've already talked about before how i got it to read so i'm listening to it and i'm going to be marking some sections and i was listening to it while making dinner and it's interesting to say the least So I am very pleased about how this is turning out. This is all the stuff that is exporting right now. There's five episodes of The Wind Waker, which is almost done, and three episodes of Firewatch, and three episodes of King Quest. This is almost everything we need for the first week of Let's Plays. I uh, just need a couple more Wind Waker episodes, and then To the Moon. I haven't uh, edited any of To the Moon yet, which I need to get to probably tomorrow night. Hopefully tomorrow night I need three episodes of that for the first week, and I'd really like to have everything for the first week done, so that would be great. Almost there, just a little bit more to go. And the next week, I can work on trying to catch up to be ahead for the rest of the month instead of having to do this week by week. And on top of that, I really need to find thumbnails to use for every single one of these. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to be doing for that, so that'll be a fun thing to figure out either tomorrow or Thursday. Anyway, enough about all that. Talk about the Let's Play channel quite a bit. Let's leave it be for now. I was considering doing an all another all-nighter tonight, but I'm not going to do that because I know it's not good for me and I'm not going to do it, so I hope you guys are proud of me for that. I was thinking earlier today, mostly while I was working out because I was just sitting there and watching Parks and Rec for the like the millionth time, so I didn't have to really like focus on it. I was just like my mind was elsewhere for the vast majority of my working out when I wasn't actually doing the workout parts of it. I'm thinking a lot about all of the stuff I want to do 
in my life, not just right now, but in my life as a whole, and it's quite a long list of things. Now, I have a great full-time job right now that I am super, super happy with, and I'm super like, just glad to be at. I, I like going to work every day. I don't have any problems going to work every day, which is one of the most amazing feelings ever, which is I just like, I have literally zero qualms about going in. There's no part of me that's like, ugh, work today, ugh. Except for like, when I know when I'm tired. But that's just more, that's more not really work's fault, that's just me being tired. My last job before this one was absolutely the kind of job where I just, I couldn't stand going in every day. All the other jobs that I've had have just like, kind of been those kinds of jobs where I just couldn't stand going in every day. So I'm really glad that I have my full-time job. But I don't, I don't necessarily think it's something that I want to do for the rest of my life. I'd love to keep doing it for as long as I can, no matter what else I am able to do, no matter what else I'm able to become successful in. I'd really like to have that stability, that security there. And be able to, it's something I like doing too, so it's it's something that I would really like to continue on with for at least quite a while. Not forever, but quite a while. But on top of that, I really, I haven't been writing recently because I've just focused on, been focused on so much other stuff, which is really unfortunate because I have uh, so many book ideas that I, that are literally I need to get out soon because otherwise my brain is going to burst. There are ideas that I've been building in my head since I was in high school and I really need to do something with before I go crazy because they just keep building and building on top of each other and I can't just not do it anymore. I really need to actually sit down and begin just doing the writing that I want to do. And I mean, I love writing. I love sitting down and writing and making things come out of my brain, unexpected things, but also things that I've been planning for a really long time. It's such a great feeling, and I really, really want to do it more. It makes me so happy to do it. Just like all this stuff that I'm doing right now makes me happy, that also makes me happy, and I need to find time to fit it in. There's so much other stuff that I also want to do. I really want to get more into video making as like a, an art form kind of thing. I want to get more into photography as an art form again. I was doing those two things quite a bit for a while, and I haven't been doing them at all in recently. Some of my goals for life in general are to, you know, write the books that I want to write. I want to direct some movies, possibly. That would be really awesome. I don't care if they're big. I just want to make movies. I want to make films. I really want to write a musical <laughs> really, really badly. I have some ideas for that. I really just want to write music in general, like symphonic or orchestral music. I'm really, really into that kind of stuff, and I used to write stuff like that all the time, because I had this program on my computer called Finale, and I used to just mess with it all the time and write music on that all the time and just like play it back and like it let you play back and listen to what it sounded like. And I love doing that. <laughs> it was so much fun. And I, once again, have some ideas for that. I'd really love to make my booktube channel bigger. I'd really love to do a million more book reviews than I'm doing right now. I'd love to read a million more books than I'm reading right now. If I could do a book review for every single book that I ever read, that would make me so happy. <laughs> if I could put a video, video review out for each of the books I read every single time that I read one, that would make me so happy. If I could do movie reviews, that would make me really happy. If I could get this Let's Play channel to really be a consistent, awesome thing that I just have a lot of fun with and can do on a daily basis, that would make me really happy. There's just so many stuff I want to do, and I'm realizing right now that like this is the first steps of that. This is the first steps of really creating a life that I want to live for the rest of my life. And it's making me feel super, super inspired and super invigorated, so it's not like I'm staying up and doing these all-nighters and stuff because I'm crazy and I I don't I don't want to be healthy and go to sleep like a normal person. It's just I, I feel so invigorated and so excited about everything in life right now that I can't imagine slowing down at all. So anyway, I think that's where I'm gonna end up for tonight. I'm about to go to sleep for a little bit and hopefully get a good night's rest. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you guys. We don't say that enough anymore, but I really, really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much and we'll see you tomorrow.